The human body does not create vitamin B12. So people must get this nutrient from their diet. It is crucial for making DNA and red blood cells and it helps support the nervous system. Vitamin B12 plays a vital role in the production of blood cells. Many of the symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency arise because it causes a lack of healthy blood cells. The body needs plenty of these cells to get oxygen around the body and keep the organs in good health. A vitamin B12 deficiency can lead to both physical and psychological problems. In this video, we will explore common symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency and explain why they occur. Folks, before giving you the list of symptoms, you should know some of vitamin B12 deficiency that what it is actually. Vitamin B12 deficiency may affect between 1.5 and 15% of people. This deficiency can cause a wide range of symptoms that affect a person's mental and physical health. It is important to consume foods that contain vitamin B12 on a regular basis. Adults need around 2.4 micrograms MCG of vitamin B12 each day. And vitamin B12 is a water-soluble vitamin that is present in animal-based foods such as red meat, poultry, eggs, dairy, fish. If a person does not eat animal products, they will need to add vegetarian and vegan sources of vitamin B12 to their diet. These include fortified cereals, plant milks, bread, and nutritional yeast. As vitamin B12 deficiency shares many symptoms with other nutritional deficiencies and health conditions, but it is possible that people may neither notice it nor get a diagnosis. Being aware of all of the signs can help people identify the deficiency and seek treatment. Now let's have a look on the most common vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms. Number one is tingling hands or feet. Vitamin B12 deficiency may cause pins and needles in the hands or feet. This symptom occurs because a vitamin plays a crucial role in the nervous system and its absence can cause people to develop nerve condition problems or nerve damage. In the nervous system, vitamin B12 helps produce a substance called myelin. Myelin is a protective coating that shields the nerves and helps them transit sensations. People who are vitamin B12 deficiency may not produce enough myelin to coat their nerves. Without this coating, nerves can become damaged. Problems are more common in the nerves of hands and feet, which are called peripheral nerves. Peripheral nerve damage may lead to tingling in these parts of the body. Number two is pale skin. Folks, pale or yellow skin called jaundice may be a symptom of vitamin B12 deficiency. Jaundice develops when a person's body is not able to produce enough red blood cells. Red blood cells circulating under the skin provides it with its normal color. Without enough of these cells, the skin may look pale. Vitamin B12 plays a role in the production of red blood cells. A vitamin B12 deficiency can cause a lack of red blood cells or megapolistic anemia, which has an association with jaundice. This type of anemia can also weaken the red blood cells which the body then breaks down more quickly. When the liver breaks down red blood cells, it releases bilirubin. Bilirubin is a brownish substance that gives the skin the yellowish tone that is characteristic of jaundice. Number 3 is Mouth Pain Vitamin B12 affects oral health. As a result, being deficient in vitamin B12 may cause the following mouth problems. Number 1. Glossitis, which causes a swollen, smooth, red tongue. Number 2. Mouth ulcers. Number 3. A burning sensation in the mouth. These symptoms occur because vitamin B12 deficiency causes a reduction in red blood cells production which results in less oxygen reaching the tongue. Number 4. Problems thinking or reasoning Vitamin B12 deficiency may cause problems with thinking, which doctors refer to as cognitive impairment. These issues include difficulty thinking or reasoning and memory loss. One study even linked low vitamin B12 levels to an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia, and Parkinson's disease. The reduced amount of oxygen reaching the brain might be to blame for the thinking and reasoning problems. Number 5 is Nausea, Vomiting and Diarrhea Vitamin B12 deficiency can affect the digestive tract. A lack of red blood cells means that not enough oxygen reaches the gut. Insufficient oxygen here may lead to a person both feeling and being sick. It may also cause diarrhea. Number 6 is Fast Heart Rate a fast heart rate may be a symptom of vitamin B12 deficiency. 
the heart may start to beat faster to make up for the reduced number of red blood cells in the body. Anemia puts pressure on the heart to push a higher volume of blood around the body and to do it more quickly. This response is the body's way of trying to ensure that enough oxygen circulates through all the body's systems and reaches all the organs. Last but not the least, irritability. Being deficient in vitamin B12 can affect a person's mood, potentially causing irritability and depression. There is a need for more research into the link between vitamin B12 and mental health. When we have discussed the more common symptoms of uh, deficiency of vitamin B12, let's also talk about the causes that why does it happen. Even if a person gets enough vitamin B12 in their diet, some underlying health conditions can affect the absorption of vitamin B12 in the gut. These conditions include Crohn's disease, celiac disease, atrophic gastritis, pernicious anemia. The following factors make a person more likely to have a vitamin B12 deficiency. Number one, being older because a person becomes less able to absorb vitamin B12 as they age. Number two, eating a vegetarian or vegan diet. Number three, taking anti-acid medications for an extended period. Number four, weight loss surgery or other stomach surgery, which can affect how the digestive system absorbs vitamin B12. Now let's talk about the treatment and prevention of vitamin B12 deficiency. Most people can get in a vitamin B12 from dietary sources. For those who cannot, a doctor may prescribe or recommend B12 supplements. People can also get B12 supplements from drug stores or choose between brands online. People can take B12 supplements in the form of oral tablets, sublingual tablets that dissolve on the tongue, or injections. A doctor can provide advice on the correct dosage of this vitamin. People who have trouble absorbing vitamin B12 may need shots of the vitamin to treat their deficiency. A doctor can advise people on the best way to prevent vitamin B12 deficiency, depending on their dietary choices and health. Guys, if you like our research on vitamin B12 deficiency, then like this video and subscribe our channel. We really need your support and share it with your friends. Stay healthy and safe. See you in the next video.